Hello students, my name is Kumari Neha. I am working at Bharati Dasanar Metropolitan Higher Secondary School and the topic for today is area and its measurement. So this lesson belongs to the class 7th physics. So let's go to the chapter. So before getting into the chapter, we should know what are all the basic things we should know about the area. So first the definition of area. So what is an area? Area is the amount of space or amount of place which is occupied by any kind of object. For example, I want to do the comparison between two things. So for that comparison, yeah, right now I am taking a scale and I am taking a notebook. So this scale is 15 centimeter scale which we all have, right? So now I am comparing this with the mass or you can call it as with the surface of this particular book. So here I am placing this particular scale above this. So here after placing this, I can mark here and I can say that this is one time. Again I am taking the another scale. This scale again I am placing it over it and I am marking it the second time. Again third time, fourth, fifth, sixth and finally seventh. After finishing seven times, we can say that the area occupied this particular scale is seven times greater than this particular notebook. So this is having higher amount of area, right students? So you understood what exactly area means. So the definition of area is nothing but it is the amount of surface occupied by an object or a place which is called an area, right students? So after this, we should talk about what are the units of area. So here in the units of area, I have written here as standard international system. The unit of area is meter square. So you can ask me what is this standard unit system. So standard unit system is a particular institute or it's a particular thing which will tell that how much length it should be covered plus they will tell what is should be the basic unit. So every place is having a different kind of measurements. So we cannot say that different types can be used because sometimes we need to compare them, right students? So here what we are doing is by this particular institute that is a group of people they have decided that area can be measured in meter squares because meters can be done in kilometers types also and for smaller objects also we can do it. So right students? So after this unit we can say that what particular area of a big square means. So here I have taken a diagram of a square. In this, the area of A to D and A to B is 1 meter. So when I want to calculate the area, the area will come as 1 meter square. So how big it is, we can say that when a particular space has all the sides equal to 1 meter, then the area of that particular square will be meter square. So after this, now just imagine I want to measure this piece of chalk piece. I cannot take a meter scale and measure this, right students? So for measuring this, I need a smaller quantity. So this smaller quantity can be centimeter, decimeter or even millimeter. So millimeter, it's, it's normal, right? You can just approximately you can say that this is 1.5 or 2 centimeter square, right? How? For this I am taking the previously I took a scale, right? This is a centimeter scale. So this scale 1 it starts from 0 to 15. So using this I can measure this and I can say that the area of this particular chalk piece is around 2.5, right? So that is why we need a subunits. Now I have divided this particular things into smaller parts, right students? So because of this I can call now unit of area as sub multiple unit of area. So students I was talking about the sub multiple of area. So sub multiple I already told that it is square millimeter, square centimeter and square decimeter. So how we can compare these values? So here I have written as millimeter square. So 1 millimeter will be equal to how many centimeter or decimeter square. So in a particular scale, in this scale you can see centimeters 
and below you can see inches right now we don't want inches we want only the centimeters in the starting part of this particular scale you can see that small small lines are drawn that small lines are called millimeter lines so students 1 centimeter will be equal to 10 millimeter same way when you are comparing a decimeter that time decimeter how much it will carry 1 decimeter will be half or you can say a sub multiple of a meter square right students now come to multiples of area I told you that meter is a standard unit right sub units we have used as centimeter millimeter and decimeter so what about just imagine you want to go from Delhi to Agra now Delhi to Agra distance cannot be calculated in centimeter right it cannot be calculated in meters even if you can calculate in meters you cannot say the approximate value and you will be getting confused because it is so big number so for that we are using multiple multiple means multiplied same way I have used right previously a scale and the book right so when I compared I said this scale is 7 times that is this scale area multiply by 7 and it gave the area of a book same way here we are using the multiples so for that multiples what we are using is kilometers acre and that is why hectares so what is an acre for example I am taking a land in that land it is a square land so when two areas of this particular square is 10 meter into 10 meter then it will be one acre right students so students let us go to the last and the final topic of this lesson that is we have found what are the areas of a regular surfaces that is square rectangle triangle and a circle so let's come to our irregular surface irregular means when it is not having a particular shape so here i have taken a graph type in this graph i have placed a leaf because leaf you cannot measure the area of the leaf correctly right so what i am doing here is i am keeping the leaf over this and i am marking its boundary after marking the boundary i am taking out the leaf and i will calculate how many total number of complete squares that is complete centimeter squares are being calculated here so i have already marked here that there are 23 complete squares so we can write complete square is equal to 23 now there will be some small some bigger more than half squares so that i am again counting it and the total number of that incomplete squares are 27 so this again will memorize that right now let's come to the formula what is the formula to find the area of this particular leaf so area of leaf in centimeter square is equal to number of complete squares plus open the brackets number of incomplete squares multiply by half you can ask me why half we are using right so here why we are using half because here I have used some smaller half squares some bigger half squares so accumulating it I can call it as half so my total number of complete squares was 23 incomplete squares was 27 27 multiplied by half so I'm writing 23 as it is 27 multiplied by half will give you 13.5 now when we are adding this both we are getting 36.5 centimeter square so this particular 36 centimeter square is the area of my leaf students I hope you have understood till here right so now let's go to the summary of this lesson so in summary of this lesson we will again talk about what are all things we have talked here so first let's go to the area so first what is an area area is a particular space or a place which is occupied by any kind of object right for that we did an experiment also experiment with the notebook and a 15 centimeter square scale so i did like this right so i found out that this scale is seven times small than the area of this book after that we have discussed 
what does a centimeter square or a meter square becomes as a standard international system so standard international that is si unit of area is what it is meter square meter square can be used in all the parts of the world so how big one square meter is one square meter is nothing but we are taking a square 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter will get 1 centimeter square or we can call it as 1 meter square then sub multiples sub multiples for smaller distances or smaller particles that is centimeter square meter square or millimeter square and even decimeter square multiples multiples means doubles or triples so in that we have taken as acre and kilometer plus hectare we have calculated after that we came to the formulas formula here we have discussed about square that is a square that is a times 2 second is a rectangle in a rectangle we did length multiply by breadth and it gave the area of a rectangle then we went to the triangle in triangle what we did in triangle we have multiplied the height and the base multiplied by half half i told you right if you don't know then seriously what i should do i don't know but i have told you that parallelogram is nothing but it is half particular thing that is why when a parallelogram is cut the half particular thing is used there right so half multiplied by b into h is what it's the area of a triangle and final is circle circle is what circle is a round surface so in circle we have done the calculation as pi r square so in this pi r what is pi pi is the ratio of circumference of the circle divided by the diameter of the circle and radius we already know there right so finally in this lesson we have talked about the measurement of area of a irregular flat surface and here we have done experiment with the leaf so here we calculated the number of complete squares complete squares and incomplete squares and we have done the area measurement so we got the area as 36.5 centimeter square for a normal size particular leaf right students i hope you are have understood what are all things we have discussed today i hope you are doing safe in home stay home stay safe thank you so we from bharatasana metric higher secondary school we do have a nutrition department in us we ensure the students